Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. I am here with a very simple, scrappy quilt block for you today. I might have done this exact thing before, because I've been doing this for nine and a half years now, at the time I'm recording this, so I don't always remember what I've done. But even if I did it before, I'm doing it again. Because I have started selling, and I don't have any at the time of this video, but you can always check. Um, what I'm calling bricks and stones, you know, instead of sticks and stones, bricks and stones. This is a mini brick that I make. I don't know if there is such a size, but mine are two inches wide by three and a half inches tall. And I came up with those specifically to have something to butt up against two two-inch squares. These two inch squares, when you sew them together, you know, it would be four inches, but you lose a half an inch for a quarter inch seam allowance because you lose a quarter inch on each side. So when you sew those together, you're going to end up with a strip that is three and a half inches tall by two, just like this one. And then they can go together and they make a really cute three and a half inch square. So when you're cutting fabric and you have scraps, Consider making a box for just two inch squares and also for three and a half inch squares and you can quickly and easily uh, make some nice little three and a half inch squares and I'm going to take you even a step further from that but let's start with this so just take two two inch squares and sew them together and I'm just going to finger press at this point and I am going to sew my brick to my two stones. And let me go press. And we have a nice three and a half inch square that can be used in any direction. So what I'd like you to do is start saving your scraps. You don't have to cut them right away because they can get thready, but you know, measure and see, can I get a two inch square out of that? And then just put that scrap in a box. You could even cut yourself some little templates like um, out of a cereal box or something. A two inch square and a three and a half by two for the bars. And you can just quickly put that on your fabric and see and say, yes, I can get that out of, out of um, this piece of fabric. And then when you cut, I will have to show you guys that sometime. You uh, put your scraps, you can put like maybe four together and you match up one corner and then you cut your two inches and you'll cut four little squares at a time, same with the bricks. When you add stuff like this to a scrap quilt, it looks extra scrappy because you have some little pieces. So do look for um, bricks and stones in my auctions. It's going to encourage me to keep those there. I like to sell two inch squares and I really love to sell the little uh, bricks and stones kits, little kits to make these. Of course, if you buy that, you don't have to do this. You can use them separately. Now I'm going to show you how you can make a bigger quilt block with not much hassle at all. So we made one. Let's make another one. Now we have two of these. And again, you know, you could make just a bunch of these and you could, um, you know, make them so it's like, you know, makes the, the crisscrosses or, you know, you could put them in the same direction. Obviously, you would see more designs if I had four of them. But if you like these, but you don't want to make just these, this is what you do. These end up being three and a half inches square. Introduce some three and a half inch squares that you don't have to put together. And see, see how nice it is and how quick and easy to, it is to make a really nice quilt block. And again, you can turn these. It could be this way, you know, it could be with the bricks pointing in. It doesn't matter at all. And for this one, I picked, you know, sort of colors that, you know, were a lot alike. These are stripes, but they're different stripes. I'm going to not put them right together. Maybe something like that is cool. Kind of like that. So let's do that. 
I'm going to sew these two together and then these two together and we'll just chain piece that. going to press those open and now I have no clue how I had this I don't know I think I had the red ones in the middle but I don't know if this is the right order but that's okay doesn't matter let's put this together press and trim and this is what we have it's really cute it is so quick and easy. Now I also sell three and a half inch squares. I used to sell a lot of them, but I, you know, haven't been doing all the cuts I used to do, and I'm bringing them back. I do some all like the same print or some mixed prints, and you know, they just come in very, very handy. Here's the other thing. This ends up being about six and a half inches square. Mine is a little less because I'm very sloppily generous with my quarter inch seams so I lose a little bit more. I also sell cut and sell six and a half inch squares so what you could do is make a block like this and make another one for here and put two six and a half inch squares uh, in the in the corners you know along the same idea as this you made these two little blocks and then you just put solid you know not pieced blocks you can do the same with this six and a half inches and then put a six and a half inches just one piece so you can do all that cutting if you want or when I have stuff on eBay you can uh, look and look and see if I have mini bricks and stones up for sale thank you so much for watching I'll be back with more soon bye <laughs>